Statue of Liberty made from copper was originally brown in color when brought to USA in 1886. But today it looks bluish green. How did its color change? It happened due to a phenomenon called corrosion. When a surface of metal is attacked by air, moisture or a chemical substance, the metal is said to be corroded. This phenomenon is known as corrosion or weeping of metal. Metals like aluminum, copper, silver and iron corrode easily. Aluminum article lose their shine and become dull soon. This is due to the corrosion of aluminum metal when exposed to moist air. Aluminum reacts with oxygen present in the air to form a thin and dull layer of aluminum oxide on its surface. Due to the formation of this dull layer, the aluminum articles lose their shine. Green color deposits are seen on the copper roofs or copper metal tubes when exposed to carbon dioxide and water present in the air. This is called patination of copper. These deposits are of basic copper carbonate which is formed by the reaction of copper with carbon dioxide and water present in the air. Lead also corrodes. A white deposit of basic lead carbonate is formed on the surface of lead when it comes in contact with moist air. Notice that the articles and jewelry made of silver turn black when kept in open for some time. Silver metal tarnishes in presence of hydrogen sulfide gas present in the air and a black coating of silver sulfide can be seen on its surface. On the contrary, the gold and platinum articles retain their shine even after several years because they are resistant to corrosion. They are highly unreactive metals and remain unaffected by oxygen, water vapor and other gases present in the atmosphere. Due to their unreactive nature, gold and platinum are used for making jewelry. Sometimes a layer of reddish brown material is seen on the surface of iron articles. This is known as rust and the process of its formation is called rusting. Rusting can be defined as the slow oxidation of iron by the atmospheric oxygen in the presence of water or moisture. It is the most common form of corrosion. Remember, while the other metals are set to corrode, iron is set to rust. Iron when exposed to moist air reacts with oxygen and water to form hydrated iron oxide. The hydrated iron oxide is called rust and it is reddish brown in color. Some factors increase the rate of rusting. Presence of gases like carbon dioxide, oxides of sulfur and nitrogen in the air increases the rate of corrosion. The rate of corrosion of metals can be decreased by keeping metals isolated so as to avoid direct contact with air. The necessary conditions for rusting of iron are the presence of air and water or moisture. How can we prove that air and water are necessary for the rusting of iron? Let us find it out by performing an experiment. For this, we require three test tubes, a test tube stand, three iron nails, rubber cork, anhydrous calcium chloride, oil, boiled water, and normal water. Place three test tubes in a test tube stand and label them as A, B, and C. Put one iron nail in each of them. In test tube A, add boiled water and then pour a little oil into it. In the test tube B, add anhydrous calcium chloride and close its mouth with a rubber cork. In the test tube C, add normal water. Keep the test tubes aside for a few days. Observe the test tubes after a few days. No rust is formed on the nails kept in the test tube A and B, while rust can be seen on the nail kept in test tube C. Let us find the reasons behind these different observations. Rust is not formed on the iron nail kept in the test tube A because the boiled water does not contain oxygen and the oil prevented the entry of more oxygen into the test tube. No rust is seen on the surface of iron nail kept in the dry air in the test tube B because the anhydrous calcium chloride had absorbed the moisture from the damp air present in the test tube and made it dry or free from water. Rust is formed on the iron nail kept in the test tube C because it is exposed to both air and water. From this experiment, we can conclude that the presence of air and water is a must for rusting of iron.
Now, let us summarize what we have learnt about corrosion. 